The one native Australian food Meghan Markle refused to eat during her lunch in Melbourne revealed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were taken inside the kitchen of Melbourne-based restaurant Charco Lane for a tasting of some of Australia's native cuisine on Thursday. Apprentice chef at the establishment, Brooke War, led the royals through a touch, taste and smell experience with ingredients like quandongs and saltbush. But M's War, 20, said there was one flavorsome treat Meghan Markle declined to try. With the finger limes, they're like little caviars. When you eat it in your mouth it pops and the flavor is beautiful, she told News. Com. Oh, it was optional if they wanted to taste it. Harry did but Meghan didn't. She was smelling it. But that's understandable because she's pregnant and being cautious. Finger limes, which are a fruit predominantly used to garnish a meal, contain essential nutrients like folate, potassium and vitamin E. Program manager Troy Crelling also noted that Meghan's husband warily skipped over a delicacy on the menu. Harry tried some of the ingredients, but he wasn't game to try the pepper leaf, which is what we tend to give to the naughty kids anyway. It's a little bit hot. Mr. Krellen told the publication. The leaves are dried, milled and used to flavor sauces, chutneys, meats, cheeses, pate, breads, dampers and pastas, much like regular pepper would. Following the taste test the royals sat down for a decadent meal containing hearty protein and vegetables. They dined on an entree of mushroom and quinoa nest and char-grilled kangaroo and main courses of wild boar, saffron risotto and barramundi. The Mission Australia-supported restaurant provides a comprehensive, accredited training program for young people who have experienced challenges on their journey to employment. At Charcoal Lane, we are passionate about celebrating Aboriginal history and providing students with a culturally safe space to express their individual identities and overcome any challenges they may face on their journey to employment, Mission Australia CEO, James Toomey, said. Our program not only provides training in real work for young locals, but also fosters a sense of cultural and community pride which we are proud to have shared with their royal highnesses. On Friday the couple arrived back in Sydney to tour Bondi Beach and Prince Harry will be climbing the Sydney Harbour Bridge later in the afternoon.